Because I was thinking about, you know, and it's time to do another MTs video. I was thinking, my God, I don't have any. I, I don't have enough. How am I going to fill the video? And now I come, I've emptied out the box on my bed, which is where I film, and I have plenty. So I really didn't need to worry at all. Hi, hello, welcome, welcome back to my channel. We're here for another empties video. Um, and I've got a selection here, I'm just looking at the products. I've got hair care, I've got skin care, I've got body care, makeup, and hand care and lip care. So it's quite a broad range this time of um, items that I've got that are empty. Okay, let's start off with the hair care. So, um, okay, so I tried, this Faith in Nature Dragon Fruit Shampoo Bar. There is still a little bit left, so I'm cheating a bit, in the bathroom. But I'm gonna review now um, so I can get rid of the box. And um, also because, because it's not any packaging, it's a shampoo bar, it will disappear and then I won't remember that I needed to talk about it in an empty. Um, okay, so um, no S SLS or parabens, 100% natural origin. Um, I have used the um, shampoo and conditioner of Dragon Fruit. I think I bought it because it said it was good for oily hair. Uh, didn't help me. And the same with the shampoo bar. It just leaves too much of a residue. So I am using it up. I'm using it up as a soap, like a regular body soap. And that's why it's in the shower still. So yeah, won't be repurchasing this. But it was interesting to take another try at a shampoo bar which to be honest with you haven't had great experiences with i just find that they then they don't deal with my um greasy situation well enough okay next uh, empty are uh, i would i'll put these two together herbal essences bio renew purifying hydrate 97 percent natural origin this one is strawberry and mint um and is the silicone free shampoo um this was fine um it, my skin uh, my skin my hair's fine with it i do feel when i use it i might i need to put a conditioner on afterwards it's not like enough to just leave it go solo um the thing i don't really like about this uh, let me try and, is the smell so it's more strawberry than it is mint i've just got some on my nose um but i just don't I don't really particularly like the strawberry smell. It's too sweet. It's a bit, bit sickly. Um, but, you know, this is really expen inexpensive and it lasted double the length <laughs> that the conditioner did. I love this conditioner. I may have even spoken about it already. I feel like I might have spoken about it already. But anyway, this is the Deep Repair 90% Natural Origin Manuka Honey Conditioner. Couldn't really get a smell of the honey. Oh, yeah, I suppose a little bit very lightly fragranced um this is great doesn't leave a residue doesn't overly oil up my roots um even though i applied them to applied it to my roots normally i just try and concentrate on the ends but you know this one was an all over thing and um was great and i think what i really liked about it was you don't have to wait before you rinse it off which is always a plus in my book okay so yeah those um were the hair care items i had let's move on to bath and shower okay another radox cheap ding dong ding this is a public service announcement please don't miss out on this great offer you can get 50 percent off your purchases at selfcarekaren.etsy.com by becoming a member of the sck tribe as a member you'll get self-care karen news inspirational messages and special offers and when you sign up you'll have access to a free meditation script a minute of mindfulness look at the video description for more details ding dong ding Cheapest chips muscle soak blended with sea minerals and sage bath soak yeah this is a nice smell oh that can't be like a i hope i haven't ugh, poisoned myself let me just ugh. Okay, um, although it's pretty empty anyway. 
well, it is empty, right? Um, my son loves these. He, I mean, sometimes one of these only lasts two baths. It's, it's, I mean, I exaggerate a little bit, but only a little bit, a little bit. Um, yeah, but this is cheap as chips and uh, does the job um, for the baths that I have with him. This, I treated myself to this. This is the Ayumi Turmeric and Argan Oil Body Wash, which I got a full-size version of in the Holland and Barrett Advent Calendar, not last year, the year before, and I loved it, and I treated myself the other day, well, about six weeks ago. It's just such a nice smell. It says it's Argan and Mandarin Oil, Turmeric and Papaya Extract. I don't know, the mixture is just, oh, so, so nice. It's such a lovely experience to shower with this. And you can also put it in the bath. It makes a really nice bath as well. So I will definitely repurchase this, but I do want to try another one that I, I just haven't seen it in Holland and Barrett recently. Maybe I need to go online. That I, that was in the advent. Um, I think it was called Love Your Body myrrh shower gel or something i had it in one of my empties and i just think maybe i'll go back there and try that because it was a beautiful smell as well but anyway really like this okay skincare just one item this i got off um a website i think it's called the perfumes club or the perfumers club something like that anyway i came across this website because they sell spanish um items like um fragrances and um soaps and deodorants and what have you and i was feeling a bit nostalgic for i haven't been able to go to spain for quite a while so you know haven't been able to stock up um and i bought these um what are they called how do you call them um nose strips poor nose pore strips um and it's I think a Spanish brand, Dia Dermin. Uh, oh, yeah, it's in Spanish on here. Um, I put a post-it, got loads out, just to remind me. Um, now, yeah, and it's got, I don't know, it, was, it wasn't very expensive. It's probably about two or three euros. Um, and there were six strips in there and I use them like on the picture actually they say forehead nose and chin that's where I use them and I used them last week the last three so you really only get two uses out of the box I got so much out I've actually got I'm a bit disgusting I've got them here I don't know if you want to see <laughs> oh my god but it's just so satisfying having these out now I find with pore strips the best thing to do is really cleanse your skin exfoliate so I think what I did was I used the ordinary that bright red peel thing first and then went in with the strips and then after that you know i used different masks but anyway got loads out they're back they're back again but it was very satisfying so yeah definitely i'll definitely be on the lookout and get more of those um but i've replaced them with some strips that i got off uh, amazon so i'll report when they they're empty okay in terms of hand stuff i've got two um hand gels that i've used up well almost used up. i left them like this because i wanted to remind myself okay so basically they both do the job of sanitizing um they both completely kill my skin i get like cuts along the edges it's so so drying However, this one from Aldi, the number one lime, basil and mandarin, which is a dupe for Jo Malone, smells nice. So it's a pleasure to use. And this one, which is the Puritizer Antibacterial Hand Sanitizer, 70% alcohol, smells of 70% alcohol. It smells a bit vodka-y actually, I have to say. Okay, so I know which one I prefer which is the Aldi one, and I have I had another one in my stash and I'm now using that. So anyway, those two empties. Then I have this hand cream. So I use a lot of hand cream because I get very badly dry skin around my nails. I always have done, but with this whole sanitizing stuff, it's made it loads worse. Um, yeah, and this was in the Holland and Barrett Advent Calendar, Natura Siberica, natural certified Tega daily protection hand cream didn't like this at all <laughs> a lot of words for me to tell you i didn't like it i don't really like the smell i don't know how to use that kind of like moringa i would say it reminds me a bit of the emma hardy moringa 
um, and it just felt drying. So I'm glad it was a small thing and I got through it really fast. Uh, and I've moved back to a cream, a hand cream that actually works. Apologies for the screaming in the background. Okay, it's just the school. Then I have a lip balm. Yes, I'm going on to the lips now. La Roche Posay Nutritic. Um, now, I don't know actually where. Oh, is it in here? Oh, I see. Oh, I thought it fell out. Okay, well, anyway, it broke. My bathroom floor is so unforgiving. I have broken so many things. So this, this fell on the floor quite a few times, and one of the times this mechanism broke. But anyway, I still used it almost to the end. And then actually I thought I I, I couldn't find the... No, I didn't think so try and you know move it upwards but anyway um this was fine but it's not my favorite lip balm i prefer the eucerin or aquaphor active lip balm one um yeah so this this all right i i prefer like a cream rather than a lipstick type application um yeah so won't be repurchasing but it, it was okay right two more two more empties to go oh the body shop Okay, the Fuji green tea body butter. I got this on sale. I think it's probably because they discontinued the range, which is really, really sad. You see, I've really emptied it out. Um, this is, I love this range because of the smell. Um, I've used the shampoo and conditioner in the past. This is the first time I think using the body butter. The body butter is great, by the way. Really, really nourishing. Um, this is a dupe for the bulgari green tea perfume which i adore um yeah i'm really sad if this has been discontinued when i bought this i also bought the eau de toilette which i'm using as my, my my everyday kind of scent at the moment and i just love it love it love it um very sad if it's um been discontinued body shop if you're watching please don't discontinue this okay and then finally that just fell on the floor finally um Mavala mascara i i got this when i got the um eyelash and eyebrow thing that i reviewed in one of my empties it had gone off and it was hurting like mother for loonies on my eyes when i was using it this mascara was really nice and i really like the brush but and you knew there was a butt coming so the brush has got like a curve to it this dried out so fast. Like, I think by week two, I was noticing that it was beginning to dry. And normally, a mascara will last me around three months. And I generally will throw it away after three months just because of this kind of eye safety thing. This didn't make... I mean, there's still loads of product there, but it's just... I can't use it because it just doesn't go on properly anymore. It's dried out far too much. Now, many mascaras actually get better with age. <laughs> you know, there's like this optimal moment, kind of like week six, eight to eight with a mascara. I find this it just dried out so, so fast, which is a shame because um, it went on really nicely. It says it lengthens, separates and conditions lashes with silk protein. And... You may say it was my fault because I didn't sort of close down the, the lid enough, but I definitely did because I was really, really conscious that it was... Uh, well, I always am with mascaras, actually, so I always make sure they're really tightly on. So this is a shame. Um, I won't be repurchasing because, yeah, just it's not... You don't get the value for money with it. Um, yeah, that's unfortunate. So thank you so much for watching today's video. Um, so I obviously do a monthly empty one, obviously, it's obvious to me, but um, that's just because it's my channel. I do a monthly empties video, but I also do tried and tested, um, where I kind of go and, and deep dive into a particular product or range um, or brand. So um, take a look out for those if you want. Um, and I also do um, guided meditations. So I post a weekly um, meditation. So if that's something that you... Maybe you've never tried meditating before. This is really uh, user-friendly and helpful and nice way to get into having a meditation 
practice which is fantastic for stress, anxiety and even depression. Okay, um, what else can I tell you? You can find me on Etsy.com. The name of my shop is Self Care Karen. I'm on Instagram, Pinterest, um, Facebook. I have a mailing list. And there's loads, loads more details about me and my brand in the video details. Um, love to hear from you from the comments. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't done so already. And I will see you in a future video. Thank you very much. Remember, you are in perfect time. See you soon.